yeah, definitely. There's chemicals like seeping into the ocean all the time. Um, all the sea life, even like not even the animals, like even the sea plants and everything, they're absorbing that. It's just not healthy for anyone. Yeah, yeah. Because it's getting wrapped around the turtles and the seals. It's choking the boy. Because it's not biodegradable. It just sits there and all the animals, fishes, like they eat it, they breathe it. It just doesn't work. <laughs> People don't know how to recycle at all. They just throw everything wherever they want. Yeah. Um, why? I mean, I guess it suffocates the life in the ocean and... It gets, I think it gets really, really small, so it's hard to remove. And we have so much plastic, it doesn't degrade, it doesn't go away, so there's nothing you can, like, it's just gonna build up and up. And so that sounds like a problem. It's going to be bigger and bigger. It's it's not like suddenly we can just undo it. It's going to take a lot more to slow it down than it took to make it happen. And yeah, it's a big problem. That's what I study. <laughs> uh, in the in Australia, in the Barrier Reef, there's been a bleach of over 20 percent of the population of the corals, and that's kind of things are like impact of the uh, by the by the humans, you know. Noise pollution. Uh, what do you mean? Um, personally, I've never thought about it. I would not have thought that noise pollution would be a problem for the ocean, but maybe it is. I never thought about it. Yeah, but it might be. Yeah, I never, I never actually thought about noise pollution. But yeah, but yeah, might yeah. I, w I, I, I wouldn't say it's causing effects to the whole ocean, but. Uh. I imagine it is noise from ships and boats and things like that, and even like radar no noise that we can't hear, other types of noise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess animals that use echolocation probably get confused, and um, other ones that rely on like similar things for mating or finding food. I'm guessing. Yeah, well, like the noise uh, is faster in the ocean, and you can listen things stronger down there. As a diver, if you are down 15 meters about you passing a boat, and you listen so so strong, you know, you know, it's like where where is that coming from? And um, maybe it's like too far away, but you still listen on on top of your head, you know. So that is a big impact also for like, if I'm scared and I know exactly what's going on, uh, I think uh, a fish will be like freaking out, you know. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, I, I imagine that maybe there are, but not very good ones, and it depends which countries and where. And it's hard. I guess there's also international waters that you can't regulate, which is weird. I've I've never heard of any such regulation, and I I don't know. I don't think that there would be, but I think it's something that would be interesting to investigate. So. 